Statue of Liberty there. All right, everybody should be looking at me now. I'm going to help you find me. I'm going to draw something uh, uh, enticing on the... Let's see. It's a naked female torso. See? And then uh, just, a little, just a little hint of that. I don't know. Here, give it a head. Okay, now this is sort of predicated on the idea that, uh, you know, if you go to a movie, then there's a director and a camera person who have decided what you're going to see, and you never know what is outside the frame. In fact, there's nothing outside the frame. Uh, there's nothing out there, right? I mean, there's, uh, there is something there, but it's usually irrelevant to, uh, to what's being told, to the narrative that's going on. Now, what we're interested in is a more of a, is a, is a 360 degree, or it could be spherical. I mean, we could have a camera up here. I mean, I should show you what the camera looks like. It's a, I don't know if you can see that here. Get her out of the way. It's, uh, it's actually 12 cameras, 12 digital cameras, all facing outward. Uh, uh, and so that, that gives us 12 different images that the computer then has to stitch together. Overnight, it takes a long time to render. Anyway, uh, so, so this, is not, um, this is not IMAX or like that, that Disney World 360 degree uh, whatever. It's because uh, the, the, the whole image is not shown simultaneously. This is really an anti-war film. Uh, but the difference is that the interactivity is that the user uh, chooses what they want to see. I mean, they don't, the, the, the choice is limited. They, they're not aware of everything that they, that, so they can't, they can't really choose. But they choose just by where they end up, by accident. Yeah. Well, I think the best way to show them is just to show them some material that we can. It's a very dark sky overhead. Quiet camp. Many of the men are still sleeping. A few campfires are still lit. Smoke's rising. Occasional laughter can be heard. Trees rustle with occasional wind. One campfire situated in a small clearing in the forest. A few logs, men sitting around. Two men are chatting amiably. I sit down next to them. I sit down next to them, stoking the saber with me. Stoking the fire with me. Stoking the fire with my saber. Talk around the campfire quiets down. I look up into the sky. I can hear trees rustling. Crickets chirping and the light crackle of the campfire. No one speaks. <laughs> 